So the first thing I want to do is I, I don't want to use like spells because we're not in any kind of hardcore situation right now. But right. I kind of want to go and see if I can can help out, you know, the wounded man. Yeah, we can do medical kind of stuff, right? Oh yeah. Oh, please let me do medicine. I'm I'm proficient in it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna run and and, and just be like, uh, just kind of help the man kind of get to a seated position so he's not falling over himself again. And just said, "We're here to help," and just kind of set him at ease. Kind of check uh, his wounds. Okay. Um, the man is uh, he's he's basically got a uh, um, uh, I don't know a, a haggard look on his face. I mean he is he's bleeding from several cuts around him. Uh, he's dropped the uh, the fire log. You just kind of cast it back into the uh, into the fire after he spat on the leader or the the goblin that was in front of him at the, at that point, and he. Uh, he comes over. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys saved my life. I, I uh, don't know how to repay you. These, these creatures had, had come upon us, uh, and uh, I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, there was just so many of them. Who's us? Uh, the, uh, the group that I was with. Um, they, uh, they, they were, we, we, we were sent here to, uh, to basically, uh, talk to, to this group, uh, of, of travelers, uh, they were supposed to be here at this place, and he, he waves back behind him, and, uh, up at the top part of the, uh, of the map there, let me, I should have opened that up for you guys here. There you go. Um, at the top of the map, there is a. Uh, I'll open the whole thing up here. Uh, it is kind of like a rocky uh, collection here. It's it's basically kind of creates a nice little shelter area, and probably be a perfect place to set up camp over the evening. Um, at least if you're not getting overrun by uh, by uh, by goblins at that point. So he's kind of pointing off to that side of uh, or that part of the road there. Or we've, that part of the uh, the area. We've kind of done this for a living, so do we have the feeling that he's doing basically the same kind of job we were doing? Kind of. I mean, he like he's escorting he's, and stuff like that, or is this more yeah. something different? He he kind of does. I mean, he has an empty scabbard at his hip. Looks like he probably had a scimitar or something in it. Judging by the uh, the width of the uh, the scabbard that's there. Um, his armor is kind of like a, a, a ramshackle leather that uh, probably has seen more years than he's been in, been alive. So he's probably not the first owner of the uh, of the armor. Um, he uh, looks terribly haggard. I mean, he's probably in his early twenties, um, but um, he's he's got wrinkles at, or crow's feet at the corner of his eyes. So either it's because he's been squinting a lot, or because he's seen more than just your fair share of 21 years will show you in, inside a city or <laughs> um, but his boots look like they've been well worn like he's traveled a lot I mean your your first estimate there Silas is probably right that uh, he's he's probably in a line of work as you um, so yeah at that point uh, so he's he's basically just trying to catch his breath at this point um, he says that uh, we uh, we we were traveling together. We were bringing uh, a, a, a man to to uh, to, to, to black ho black horse, um, but uh, you know we we shouldn't have left uh, yesterday afternoon. We thought we could try and, and make the journey and and get here and be safe, but I think we by the time we arrived here it was already nightfall, and I think that's when the goblins just tracked us to this this location. We use this off and on for just someplace secure to stay overnight. But these these goblins, they they basically set an ambush for us. Um, they they made off with two other men in my party and the person we were escorting, and and they they basically just took them off into the forest. 
in that direction, and he points in the direction where the uh, the the last goblin escaped. Um, so there you go. There's there's that part, and I'm gonna give you guys a chance to respond or ask questions. Loot the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> as nice as that is. <laughs> so, uh, is there anybody who's just kind of standing there talking to him, or is everybody just like, yeah, no, whatever, whatever, we're gonna? Yeah, that's totally Barrett's job. We're the <laughs> bodies. <laughs> so can we, can, uh, let the cleric do it. <laughs> yeah. can All we right. Just get this guy out of his misery and uh, move off. Yeah, oh. my, I, I'm basically gonna try and make him as comfortable as possible. And I'm going to say, we'll get your friends back. Like, you need to rest. Stay here where it's safe. And, well, I, uh, I, I couldn't possibly just let, let, let you go off on your own. I, I could be of some use. I can, I'm a good lookout. I, unfortunately, of course, I was asleep when they attacked, but <laughs> it, wasn't my, it wasn't my turn at watch. He like, holds up his hands and he's like, you know, trying to you know, kind of defend his honor a little bit. But it, it wasn't my turn at watch. Um, but, uh, you know, he's kind of we looking down. We need to watch our back, so you just wait here while we go that direction. Um, uh, uh, very well, very well. Um, I'll, I'll stay in the cleft of the rock over here. Um, the, the men you're looking for, there's, there was two men, um, that are part of my, my group. Um, my name is Harlan. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. And thank you for your help. Um, my my compatriots. Uh, the first one, his name is Steve, and and the other the other one's name is is Gentry. So we will, be, they, we will be sure to return them safely. Uh, yes, uh, escort. I, I, I do certainly appreciate. It. I, I'm sorry. He like looks over at Silas. It's like finishing and looting it through some of the goblins and he asks a question. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> who are you escorting? Uh, who are we escorting? Um, uh, uh, well, um, it, I, I don't know if I'm really at liberty to to review that at, at, at oh, this point. Oh, you are. Uh, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Um, if you uh, don't reveal it to us, sir, how are we going to know how to find him? And if he's dead in the woods, what good is he to your mission? I, uh, I you, you do have a point there. Well, uh, Stephen, Stephen Gentry, uh, they're both humans. Um, this this particular person that we were escorting is is a half elf. Um, his, his name is is Undil. Um, if he, I can't I can't go into much more detail. Um, uh, uh, okay. This is this is where oh crap. This is where I get to be Baird and I don't like being Baird. This is where harsh judge Baird comes in. I hated that I rolled that. And it's like okay. <laughs> It's like Oops, you have right. failed, sir, at your mission. We have need to fix this. We have need to save these people. We have need to clean up your mess. So please give us any information you have. He like he kind of withers under your uh, your 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 barrage of words. Uh, Kendrick, I saw you roll something there. What do you? Oh, what do you sorry, do? I uh, I didn't mean to roll something. Ah, okay. Well, it's a shame. It was a good roll. I hit a. I know it was. I, it was. <laughs> you sure you don't want to roll something? <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll whether or not this guy lives or dies. No, I'm just kidding. That's nice, nice. Um, I, uh, I actually, Kendrick, when I was trying to move a window. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna t I'm gonna take that though, because uh, Kendrick, as you're listening to him, you, as Baird is kind of laying into him, and and uh, um, Harlan is about to try and answer, and he's stammering and everything, you really are starting to pick up on, on a deeper, deeper type of fear, uh, that you've, you've seen and experienced before. Um, so I'll put it at that. That may pique your interest. Um, they, because it actually kind of you you stop what you're doing you're rummaging through a, like a kind of a grimy, dirty and soiled pouch of a of a dead dead goblin you're fishing out a a couple of silver pieces, and you stop and you look up and you listen to him and and uh, as Harlan is stammering out I I I, I understand I I understand what you're saying and I I don't mean to offend and I I don't mean to seem ungrateful so but I I 
I cannot say much more. I, I, uh, it, it is, it is my duty not to say more. So Dang. Kendrick, oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to bow down to a man's man's honor. I was All right. gonna say, hit him and make him talk. This is silliness. His honor is gonna kill him and his friend. I, I'm not gonna stop you from doing that. I'm just. <laughs> Baird, Baird is, I mean, I'm I'm rolling Baird lawful good. I mean, his he he the man's not doing anything illegal. He's just being a, a stupid jerk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, my chaotic, my chaotic good. This is madness. Just there you go. <laughs> we want to help you, you fool. All right. So, what's Kendrick? Kendrick says that, or does he come over and give him a shove, or? Yeah, let's give him a, a, a kick. Not a, not a hard kick, just a, like a like a what the heck kick. <laughs> All right, you want to throw a, an intimidate roll on that, or do you want to just kind of role play it out and see what happens? Is there a frustration roll? <laughs> no. All right, intimidate it is. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh my. Uh... Intimidate. Poor, nope, that's skills. Oh yeah, I, I'm not much of an intimidator. Alright. I'm a negative one, but let's go. Let's give it a shot. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh nice! <laughs> nice! So that means you rolled a natural 20, right? Because that's a minus one for 19. To add it, you know, man, that's awesome. Okay, alright, so... Why look at that? Big old you fat. intimidate him, and he kind of he looks up at you, and he he kind of gives you an eye like, um, well, let's see here, how would that uh, how would that play out? How about this? He's basically looking at you like, in a different way, like, have I met you before? Have I seen you before? Because the way you're treating me right now feels very familiar. You know, that kind of a that kind of a feel. But when he when you kick him, he says <sighs> he like looks at you and he says, "But sir, you uh, you would you would understand, wouldn't you? The need to hold one's tongue lest one lose it." I would. And Kendrick kind of feels Kendrick feels kind of like a, a an instant recognition of this that. It's not, <laughs> let's not call it a militaristic duty or a, um, uh, like a Boy Scout duty. This is more like uh, loyalty to a criminal element. Mm-hmm. I would know that, wouldn't I? And a, a, a rather uh, <laughs> strangling hold type criminal element. There's a part of him that looks like he would be fine just walking away from it and running away, but then he knows that there's nowhere to go. So that's what you get out of it, Kendrick. So Silas, what are you doing? You've been quiet for a little bit. You're still kind of rummaging through. Oh yeah. I'm, you know my you know my opinion. I don't care anything for their little social graces. I, I want to go and find the evil and kill it, which yeah, I'm doing right. quite well actually. <laughs> you are doing exceptionally well. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a first level party where the one with the highest death count is the wizard. I've not <laughs> seen it before. It is awesome. But hey, anything could happen. Alright, so uh, Baird, how do you wanna how do you wanna proceed? I wanna just get him kinda secured and head off towards the gobbies. We have people to save. Um, so, uh, very well, uh, but uh, the man we're, we're trying to protect, his name is Undil, I, I, I can't give you a last name, um, and he looks over at Kendrick, kind of like, almost like pleading with him, like, you know, you know, don't kick please me, don't but also, kick me please, don't, please don't kick me anymore, but also, please don't push me to reveal more. Yeah, I just, I, I probably know this same guy, that's the thing, right? 
Uh, it's definitely possible. I mean, you could kind of search your memories, and, and as you're kind of seeing his mannerisms, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, he he definitely could could be somebody that you might have run across, not so much in uh, like direct conversation, that sort of thing, but um, the a memory of being at the uh, at the breakwater which is another tavern in town where uh, ship captains, adventurers, and, you know, uh, some of the more highfalutin parts of society will hang out, you know, whereas the Devil's Fire is kind of where your dock workers and, and your narrative wells will hang out. This is kind of your upper crust, you know, maybe midland crust <laughs> individuals that will hang out here. Um, but there is this fair share of, of, uh, of criminal elements that are, are, that are in that place. But... Um, Think of it in real world, ter real world terms. The Devil's Fire End would be kind of where your thugs would hang out, and the Breakwater would be more like where your capos and dons might hang out. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you've had you've had occasion to be in the Breakwater a couple of times, and that may be where you've you've seen this guy before. A nicer class of criminal hangs out there. Yeah, yeah exactly. The Officers Club of Criminals. That's right. That's right. Right, yeah, so, I'm uh, all over following. Okay. Put him on the cart. Let's go. You want to? Well, just to make sure, are you guys securing him here? Do you want to tie him up, or do you want to just have him hang out think, here so that he's safe? I think Fine. he's pretty. He's pretty wounded. I don't think he's going to cause us any trouble. Especially Not at all. After, especially after Kendrick kicked him. Uh, I mean, for all the bandaging that you've done, now he has like a fresh bruise on his side. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think Kendrick, we just Kendrick gave him the what for. I think if we just leave him here, he's gonna be okay. Okay. Hey, tie him to a tree. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you really gonna tie him up? Or are you gonna leave? Him? <laughs> no, no. Let's go. Okay. All right. Um, he, sure. in the midst of you guys kind of gathering things up, he, uh, um, he. He picks up one of the uh, the goblins' little short bows and he gives it a tug and it seems serviceful for him. So he grabs up a couple arrows and kind of finds a niche to hide in. And he digs around in the dirt and he looks under a bedroll and it looks like it's probably his. Um, by the way, he's kind of familiar with it and he pulls out his uh, a scimitar. So he's he's armed at this point um, and it kind of syncs up with what you were saying, what he was saying earlier that he was asleep when they attacked. Um, uh, Everybody kind of knows the drill of sleeping with your bedroll and then having your sword underneath it, but uh, unfortunately, he never got a chance to get to it. All right, I so. want my arrow back. I'm gonna pull my arrow out of the back of this. Uh, out of his neck. <laughs> it, and the little goblin is. I mean, these goblins have like thin little necks and their big oblong faces, so it actually is uh, uh, amazingly enough undamaged. So you're able to kind of wipe the blood off of there. Mm -hmm. And as far as loot, um, amongst the four dead that you've gathered, uh, you're able to pick up uh, five gold and 25 silver, all told. And actually, you are able to find a vial of a dark red liquid. Do we know what this dark red liquid is? I don't know, do you? <laughs> what would one have to do to find out what that red liquid is? I don't know. You taste it, Barry. Take a taste look at it with the skill check. <laughs> yeah, take a yeah. take a take a taste of it. And let's see what it is. Yeah. Um, you could use an insight roll. Um, I'll I'll okay. basically go with that. Oh, and then... yeah. We're doing insight. I'm all over that. You could do that, and then you could also do a uh, an Arcana roll to take a look at it as well. So I don't know if, uh, Silas, you want to jump in on that. Not great. Not stupendous. That's all right. That's all right. I'll do it in, uh... Dang oh, it! Oh, I saw that 20 land, too, and I'm like, oh, did that... Was that the number one? Can I do an investigation? Is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah, you know what? You may have come across something like this in your past, Kendrick. So why don't you do uh, why don't you do an insight roll as well? Uh, can I roll an investigation? Oh yeah, 
Absolutely, that's true. You do have uh, it is. proficiency in that. Oh, How many rolls did you just? Seriously, that's the same thing as me. The crap oh. roll was the one we actually had to use. Oh, that's sad. Um, between the three of you, looking at this file, and um, no, you actually, no. one of the goblins is uh, uh, the one that you find it on. This particular goblin, you notice that. Uh, he has a quiver full of arrows, and as you're kind of rifling through there, one of the arrows falls out, and you notice that it has kind of a liquid on the end of it. Oh, it's and, poison. Yeah, as you smell that liquid, and between the three of you, like maybe one of you might have like accidentally touched a little greasy part that's on the edge of the, the vial because you know goblins aren't always that careful, and your finger comes away numb. So, yeah, looks like you have found a vial of some form of poison. Lovely. That'd be yours, Kinder. Yeah, it's not mine. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite. I don't. I don't. I don't need it. It. <laughs> All right. Do we want to have somebody carry our gold, or do we want to divvy up now? I I don't care. At the end of this, we're getting a hundred gold. That's good enough for Baird. Uh, depends on how much you found there, Mister uh, Silas. I think he said it was like five gold, something silver. All twenty-five right. silver. Yeah, five gold, twenty-five silver. I'll just make a note of it, and we'll divide it all at the end. Three for Excellent. me. One for you. I'm good. And, gentlemen, I think after this, our first combat, I think that's a good place to wrap up. I was going to say the same.